Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be testing out brand new drugstore items. I am very, very excited to be doing this because as mentioned, I was not in LA for a couple of weeks and to be away from all of the makeup is really difficult for me because it's like my little family in here and I'm very attached to my cosmetics. I know that's so crazy, but literally I, like so many people were like, oh, you need to like declutter, declutter, declutter. And I like always am decluttering. But then I do that thing where you, you know, you like Marie Kondo it and you're like, does this bring me joy? And I'm like, it all brings me joy. <laughs> like how do I get rid of things? And I'm that way when I'm packing makeup to be away for like two, three weeks as well. I'm like, I don't know. Like I feel like I just, I need this highlighter and that lipstick and some options and I love them all. Long story short, I knew in my mind that I was gonna come back here and I had a bunch, like no exaggeration, this is just one bin of it, I have another one on the floor, a bunch of drugstore makeup that is brand new to put to the test. Let's just kind of dive right in and start adjusting the blank canvas because I feel extra pale right now. I just colored my hair, so if you see like a little bit of hair dye here too, like it's doing that thing where it's kind of got on my forehead a little bit and it's a little bit darker, which I love, but it makes me feel extra pale, like extra like, wow, like I feel like I need like a little more makeup, you know? The first product that I wanna test out is from NYX, and this is the Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. This says it's an eight hour hydrator, I, it's just a hydration gel, but we'll test it out. Ooh, it, it feels like hair gel. Like, ooh, that's weird. I put my skin through so much, I feel, when I'm trying all these products, and I'll always try new products. I can't help myself. I just, I love primers, concealer foundation. Those are like the ones that I'm always like, but could there be better? Okay, we need to look this up. That's surprising. It really sunk in very, very quickly. It has kind of a tacky, sticky texture. It's glycerin and water are the main things in here. There is some aloe. There are a few different extracts. It feels nice. I don't know that it's super duper hydrating, but you know, we're testing it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go right in next with the Catrice Prime and Fine Goodbye Pores, which I think that's such a great name for a primer, right? Goodbye face, I'll take a new one. Um, no, I wouldn't, I would not spin the wheel again. I keep saying that to a few people, like whenever they're like complaining about like, ah, like I hate this or I don't like that, I'm like, but you're beautiful and like you're you and would you really like spin the wheel again? And most people are like, no, I would not spin the wheel again. Huh, that's nice actually. It has almost a powdery texture. What? Hmm like it. I'm in a fun mood today, you guys. It's a really good day. I just feel really great and good and grateful and I like my life and I love the people in my life and the holidays are magical and wonderful and so good and I hope you guys are having a good day too. Okay, so we're gonna go in now with a little contour and I am gonna take a brand new one that I have been dying to try. This is the Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer with Jojoba Oil and I'm just gonna, ooh, Oh, right in here. I like this side better. Okay, I'm always like messing around with how high and how low I bring my contour. I like for my cheeks to get this like, like widened, like more chubby. If I, when I was younger, knew that I would be doing my makeup to make my face look chubbier, mm. I used to have like the chubbiest cheeks ever and it bothered me for a gazillion years. I'm telling you guys out there, if you have chubbier cheeks or what you consider like a more full face, embrace it. You're gonna love it at some point, I promise you. It's only now in my late 30s that I really feel like the shape of my face has changed pretty dramatically. Like as you age, you do lose volume. And it's only now that I have to kind of go, ooh, like I wish things were a little bit fuller. So for those of you out there that are angry that you look like the youngest sister and you are the oldest sister, <laughs> the tables will turn. My phone starts like blowing up. Screw you, Tati, what are you talking about? No, it's it's a weird thing that now in my head, like, how do we make my face look fuller? Oh my gosh, are we ever happy with everything? No, we are not. That's just life, I guess. Doesn't smell like anything. And it just goes on really like creamy and dreamy.
But I really actually super like that. I think it's gonna wear really well too. It just blended in the way that I personally like a lot. Okay, so now we're going into Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. Wow, you gotta put some muscle into that to get it to come out. This feels a lot like It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It is, that is freaking heavy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's really erasing me nicely though. I'm on board with that. This is surprisingly not bad. We'll have to see if it creases or not. I was able to take this on the chin, kind of blend out here a little bit on the nose, even on the eye. I'm gonna use this as my eye base today. Next up, we are going to try out the Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation from Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Candid. You guys know I really love the concealer. I have talked about it. I have used it on camera. I love it a lot and I have been really curious to see what this is all about. I'm gonna go on the pastiest part of my neck first and just bring this right up. I have not even looked at a bottle of self-tanner in over a month. Unusual for me. I usually do something. You're seeing me in true form. Wow. Oh my gosh, Revlon. This is so pretty. I wanna pull the camera closer so you guys can get a more up close look at the skin because it's doing that very special thing where it is smooth, not accentuating pores or fine lines or dry parts of the skin. It's not full max coverage, but it's just making the skin look really nice and balanced, which is my personal favorite. Or it's just that natural finish, it's not matte or dewy, it just looks like just really healthy, even toned skin. We're now gonna try out the Candid Powder. I don't know about this because it is that HD-esque kind of really, well that's kind of cool, it has like a, open right here. That soft touch HD makeup forever, really soft kind of a feel. So I kind of want to go underneath the eyes really quickly with something else just to kind of set and make sure that I don't get any creases. So I'm gonna take this mattifying powder from Catrice and just do that here. And now I will go on top with the other powder. For some reason, these HD powders on me, they can crinkle and crease if I don't have a base underneath it, if it just sticks to whatever is kind of tacky and sticky. So I always like to put something kind of as a bridge between the two. Ooh. Ooh. This is a very lightweight, silky powder. It's pretty good. Oh, it's also anti-pollution. How is the product anti-pollution? Please tell me. Please tell me, how is it anti-pollution? I have been curious to try this since I got it in PR. This is from e.l.f. This is the Nabella Noor XO e.l.f. collaboration. Look at that. Woo! Wow! Shiny. That's a beautiful highlight on a budget. This is beautiful. And even the packaging is so cute. All right, we're gonna move into brows because she needs it. Wait, no, we're gonna do a little lip because she needs it. I wanna do one of these Physicians Formula Organic Wear Tinted Lip Treatments because I do need it. Okay, this is the shade Tawny Nude. Oh. 
Is that really the face I make doing lipstick? Oh, oh my God. Why? Like, I wanna be like, like, let's try. Let's try a, a nicer lipstick face. not working. <laughs> I approve though. This is really nice. I really like very um, balmy, but richly colored lip products like this. Very nourishing. It feels really good and light and nice on the lips. It does not have a weird taste. It has a nice texture. It's not doing that thing. My lips are dry, so it's definitely helping me out a little bit. I have the Tattoo Studio from Maybelline Brow Pomade. Now, I got sent a bunch of these. I feel like they've had this before, but it was one of the newer brow products that I had on hand and I really kind of want to play with it right now. I'm actually going to use a more blonde shade first at the front part of my brow and then move into the deeper one. All right, I'm now gonna go into the slightly darker one and just kind of fan that in a little bit as well for dimension. Surprisingly super nice. The texture is really light and easy just kind of to fan on in there. I really like this. We're gonna head right on into this guy right here, this big bad boy right here, and see if it's any good. Ooh, it smells like the butter bronzer like so much. It just smells like coconut sunscreen vacation. Wow, this is just, look at this. Oh. The ultimate butter collection. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna go in a little bit of the pink and kind of champagne y. Oh, wow, look at that one right there. Just to see if I can further pump up. Yep, I sure can. This. Ooh. Wow. That is stunning. You know, the heavier highlighters will exaggerate a little bit of texture. I haven't had a facial in like a freaking decade. I should probably do that. All right, I wanna throw a little blush on and you do get that in here as well. I mean, really you get everything you could possibly ever need to do your makeup in this kit. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go into this kind of cool toned pink and just, that's too much, tap. A little bit here. You guys, I do makeup out of order all the time. I'm sure you notice that. It just kind of depends on my mood, the look, how smoky I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do with the eye versus face, where I'm gonna spend my time. And I just kind of decide in the moment what the steps will be. Sometimes I like the look of putting blush and bronzer on top of the highlight because it can kind of dull it a little bit and make it a little bit more natural. This is super gorgeous and like blending like an absolute dream. All right, I am gonna pop on just a little bit of bronzer cause why not? Like it's here. I already have that gorgeous contour going, but I really do wanna just kind of dip into these bronzers because Physician's Formula has long been like a favorite of mine as far as the butter bronzers go. Oh my gosh, no way. This is really, just even for the blush, highlight, and bronzers, this is a great kit. Wow. All right, it looks like there's a little bit of patchiness right up here. I wanna let you guys know there's hair dye right here, so don't judge it by that, please. Dang, it's so good. I kind of feel like cleaning up right in here just a tiny little bit with a little bit of powder.
It is high time we get to the eyes. Wow. Are these good? Are these not? Oh. That's a little rough, but the end result of that beautiful metallic is nice. Look at this one. They feel really rough to the texture and you can see, I'll do a better close up, that they have this kind of grit to them, but blended out, the metallics are very pretty. Let's just go in and do the huge. We'll do the Tati special. We're gonna go in the crease. <laughs> Windshield wiper motions. We're gonna tap the concealer out and just kind of start building up some color to blend on top of. All right, I don't like the mattes as much as I like the metallics. You'll have to build and, but you can get there. And in a big, huge palette like this, it doesn't bug me too much. I'm gonna go right here. Wow, okay, so that formula to formula, they are pressed a little bit differently. This one, if you can see, this is much looser than this one here. This one has a little kickback. This darker one has a ton. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, my palette, my Tati Beauty palette has a ton of kickback on the mattes, but it's because they blend out so quickly and I wanted to have a soft, spreadable, blendable feeling to it, like very silky, where you wouldn't have to struggle and go back and back and back. So that's not me being like shady by any means. Just know what you are dipping into so that you don't overdo it in one area. With a palette like this that is a super palette that has blush, bronzer, highlight, all of it, kind of play around with your fingers a little bit first and kind of dip into some of the shades first just to make sure you kind of understand what's what is all I'm saying. That's pretty. Yeah, I like this color. This one's blending really, really nicely. I'm almost half tempted just to leave it like that. Like you guys, you can definitely do a very natural look. You don't have to use 5,000 bajillion million shades on your eyeballs every single day. Because I'm test driving the formula a little bit, I am gonna go in and actually play with some of the color, turn on some music, take my time, explore everything, blend everything, and we'll figure out where we land in just a moment. I keep just putting more and more makeup on. How about that? I need a lip liner. This is from Hard Candy. I just picked this up. And here we are, a better look at the balance of the full face with the eyes completed. You guys, I am kind of freaking out right now because so much of the makeup that I tried out was absolutely incredible and this is drugstore makeup and i really 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 did not think that something that came in a plastic component like this would be as wonderful as it is you guys these shadows are pretty dang good they take a hot minute to blend 
there's just no doubt about that. But as you can see with this finished look, if you take your time and you have a clean brush and you're willing to kind of buff and add and layer and know that some of them will have more pigmentation than others, then you can accomplish a really stunning eye look. I did put down a little bit of concealer to do somewhat of a, it's not really a cut crease, but just to have that base and that definition and just kind of blur out those edges. I just think it ended up looking so nice and I really like the shadows. I'm surprised, I really, really like it. Love the blushes, have not yet played with the lip products, I will play with those. The bronzer, I already knew I love. I was just concerned that maybe it would be a different type of a version of that very, very incredible formula that they have. It's not, it's like this is, I just wanna like yank this whole thing off and pop it in a Z palette to go, cause it's so nice. The highlighters are phenomenal like phenomenal. I even tapped it in the middle of the eye just for an additional extra hit of shine. And I feel pretty gosh darn good about my look. I did end up putting a little bit of this Hard Candy Matteaholic Velvet Mousse lip color on. This is the shade Forget Me Not. The liner I'm not the biggest fan of, but this is so, like what a perfect color and it's smooth and I really enjoy it. It feels light as a feather and I love it. I am now going to take this HD Active Performance freezing spray from Catrice. That smells like perfume. Ugh. Oh my God, I can taste it. It's just very, very heavily fragranced. I did not expect that. It smells like body spray. It, I'm a little concerned. Anyway, the mascara is so good. L'Oreal rarely disappoints in the mascara department, so I had a feeling I would like it. I think the name is super cute. Bambi lashes, kind of flirty lashes. I'm into it. I really, really like the eyebrow. I like the concealer. I don't think I'll use the NYX Jelly Base just because looking at the ingredients, I don't know if it's for me. It has a few ingredients that make me question mark. Like maybe I might break out anyway, but that's just me. The texture of it was nice. My foundation did go on really nicely. I do like the Catrice Goodbye Pores Primer. Really like the Candid Foundation, the Candid Powder from Revlon. This kit is what is special. If you can find this, snatch it right up. It's good. I didn't have a new liner that I could use because this one right here would not open. These super precise eyeliner. So I used an old friend, the Alme Intense Eye Color Gel Smooth Liner, and this is in the shade espresso this is a really good one it's a little bit soft though so you have to kind of put up with that but once you have it on your eyes it is just it wears really nicely it doesn't move around it has a nice richness to it so there you have it you guys i love you so much thank you so much for hanging out with me while i just kind of kicked back and got ready and tried new things that was fun for me to do so i hope it was fun for you to watch and i'm sending you good love good vibes good feelings good energy we are inching towards the new year and I'm so excited for the holidays and yeah that's that all right I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed be sure to do that before you leave and make sure your notifications are on and ring that bell so you know of my upcoming videos all right I hope to see you guys soon go have a good one and see you in my next video Mwah.